Hello, Marsha. So I wanted to share with you a little bit today about uh, diplomatic ways of speaking across cultures and uh, how the effects of some things that we say in the spur of the moment may uh, reverberate throughout uh, the world. Um, and I think that uh, that sort of is what's happening these days, that there's a lot of reverberation between the U.S. and China. And uh, a lot of it is negative. And uh, I don't think that we clearly understand exactly some of the things that we're saying and the impact that they can have on the, the, the relations and the diplomatic uh, responses. As American citizens who are speaking in the area of U.S.-China, relations, what we say over the internet is, uh, is going to have an impact. And I just wanted to share with you some of the, the habits of or some of the concepts of the Chinese uh, mindset towards when we say things about um, the people, if you will. Um, in Chinese, there's a, there, there is a way of cursing or um, defaming uh, a family by cursing the grandfather, the, 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 the paternal grandfather. And by doing so, essentially what you've done is you have cursed the entire Chinese culture and nation and everyone who has anything to do with it. In our, in our mindset, that doesn't really make sense, but that's very much a reality for the Chinese people, that when somebody curses a person in the family who's previous or prior, then that essentially is cursing the whole family. And so I just wanted to uh, let you know that by, by saying that China has 5,000 5, years of um, lying and stealing, I think it was what you said, that essentially what you've done is you've cursed the whole Chinese culture <laughs> and everybody that's, that, that is um, included in it. And that would be Confucius and Lao Tzu and everybody. And so essentially you have cursed, you have, um, the word in Chinese is ma, and we don't really have that word in English. It's the closest to it would be cursed or to swear, but it goes much deeper. Um, and so essentially you have done that to the entire Chinese um, ethnic group, anybody who is connected to with the Chinese culture in any way whatsoever, you have essentially put them into that, um, that group that you're talking about when you say the 5,000 years, because that essentially takes into consideration all of the Chinese culture and everything about Chinese civilization and anything that has anything to do with Chinese civilization. And so if you have Chinese friends, and I'm even ABC, you know, American born Chinese, they're in that too because they are in a way connected to that. So you are also cursing them. And um, so I think that uh, that's a pretty serious thing if you think about it, that we as, as Americans and, and those of us who represent our country and our nation um, should be careful of, and I think this is where it's so important that we understand the different implications of the things we say that we don't recognize, just like Mr. Chen, you know, he said something, but at the same time, was he also reacting to the, the, the knowledge, the awareness, or the, the, um, the, the visceral experience of you having just um, called his whole uh, ancestry and everything about him and his country liars and thieves. So I just wanted to share that with you, a little more insight about Chinese culture, the way the Chinese think, and better practices for interacting with other cultures. I hope you have a great day.